Hello again. We will continue doing exercises for the lesson 9.1, hybridization. Let's start first of all by BF3. BF3, it's boron trifluoride. Okay? Boron trifluoride, uh, basically, it has a shape of trigonal planar. And it has 120 degrees, okay? Uh, of course, after finding the Vesper model. Okay, so now what's the type of hybridization BF3 it has? The boron, basically, it has 5. So it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p1, okay? So it will be as a valence electron, 3 valence electron. We have 1 up, 1 down. And for the p, we have 1 up. After hybridization, basically, what we have, we have the one up and it will be one up and the other one, it's here. So what is the type of hybridization, basically, of PF3? It's S1, P2. So it's SP2. To let you remember a thing, we have sp2 so 2 plus 1 it's a 3 okay to be sure from from your answer you can use it so 2 plus 1 2 plus 1 it's a 3 so we have a 3 it will be basically applicable okay not for the bf3 also for the a b3 not bf3 why because basically a molecule it can have a lone pair okay so when it has a lone pair, we cannot see the E and to count the S and P correctly. Okay? So to compare it, you will compare it to the Vesper model, not the molecule. Let's do the BEH2. It's BEH2. It's beryllium dihydride. Okay? It's a linear, AB2, linear, 180 degrees, okay? And it has SP hybridization. Now we will see why. We have the BE beryllium, it's 4. So it's 1S2, 2S2. Let's do the valence 1, 1 up, 1 down. So basically it will be 1 and the 3 Ps. So one up, one up. A kid, of course, after hybridization, it will be basically S1P1. So it's S1P1. Okay. Let's do the ALI3. ALI3. It's aluminum triiodide. It has A, B, 3 as a shape. After Vesper model, it's a trigonal planar. It's 120 degrees. What is the hybridization? Now, it will be easy to do it. A, L. It has 1 S2, 2 S2, 2 P6, 3 S2. 3p1 so it will be three valence electron as al okay so it will be one up one down and it will be one up okay after hybridization what it will be we have one up and we have one up okay one up and one up so it's s and p 2 s1 so it will be sp2 hybridization okay doing another example p f3 let's find the total number what is the shape of it it will be a p 3 e1 why it has a lone pair. Finding the total number of valence electron, 5 times 1 plus 7 times 3, okay, equals 26. 
not divisible by 8, so we need to look for a number less than 26, and divisible by 8, it's 24. So 26 minus 24, it will be two dots. So it means one lone pair. So it will be A, B, 3, E, 1. Okay? Finding the total number of valence electron, we can know basically if it has a lone pair or no. Let's continue. So, now, let's find the P. P, it's what? It's basically 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p3. So, it will be for the 3s, 1 up, 1 down. For the P, we have 1 up, 1 up, and 1 up. After hybridization, what it will be? It will be basically SP3, because don't forget we have an E, E1, okay? So it will be, we count the E, so for that reason it will be S1, P3, okay? So it will be SP3 hybridization. Let's continue by doing the PBR5. PBR5. It's phosphorus pentabromide. We have P, it's 15. So 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P3. Okay, so we have 5 times 1 plus 5 times 7. It will be 40, so no lone pair. So it will be AB5 as per Vesper. So it's trigonal bipyramidal. We have angles of 90 and 120 degrees. How we will draw it? We have P, BR, BR. BR, BR, and BR, 120 and 90, okay, okay, now concerning the hybridization, what we will do, it will be easy, we have one up, one down, we have the P, one up, one up, one up, after hybridization, what it will be, it will be one up, one up, one up, one up, and for the D, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, we will have one. So it will be S1, P3, D1. So it's S, P3, D1. Okay? To be sure from your answer, count it. It's one, one, and one, three, four, five. So it's for the A, B, five. So it's for the P, B, R, five. So to recap everything, okay? First of all, one, find the total number of valence electron. Two, find Vesper. Okay? That's the important thing that we need to know. So it's Vesper, it's valence shell per electron repulsion. Something it's very, very, very important for you. Okay, so good luck. And next time we will see the lesson 10.1.